Welcome back to Mind Pump TV. I'm your host, Adam Schaefer. Today, we're gonna cover some of the most basic but most important cues for a dumbbell chest fly. Now, before we get into this, couple things that I wanna point out. One, start off with a really light weight. This is an isolation movement, meaning that it's a single joint movement. It's not a multi-joint movement like the barbell bench press or even the dumbbell bench press. That means that when we do this fly, we're actually gonna keep our joint in a fixed position. This is actually one of the biggest mistakes that I see when people do chest flies, is they get in the position when they're laying down, and when they go to do the fly, there's movement here. There's hinging at the elbow. You don't want that. What you want is about a 10 degree bend. So I'm not locked out, so I'm not putting stress on the joint. I have a slight bend, about a 10 degree bend, in the elbow, but it's in a fixed position the entire movement. What you don't want to see happen, which is common, is people moving this while they press or coming in like this. This is really common right here. And you see how much more I'm bent at the elbow. Then I start to feel this in my bicep. So when I open up, the other thing that you see people do when they open up into the fly is they just let the dumbbells drop like this when they open all the way up. And notice where the weight would be if I was laying down flat. What I want is the elbow turned up. So when I'm lying down, my elbow and wrist, the weight should be lined up like this. So you kind of turn your elbows up. You do not want to just let the dumbbells fly. So if you let the gravity pull it, it opens up and it naturally kind of rotates the arms. This is a mistake. This will actually start to, you feel major stress in the elbow and the shoulder from doing this. I want to turn my wrist over, keeping that in that fixed position. All right, so now we're gonna get back into the dumbbell fly position. One thing to cover real quick that we didn't go over is our points of contact, very similar to any of our dumbbell, chest press, barbell press exercises for your chest, the same four points of contact. Your feet planted on the ground, you want your feet about underneath your knees, you want your butt on, your, on the back of the bench, you want your upper back, and then you want your head all on the bench. So I'm gonna kick up the dumbbells, I'm gonna lie all the way back, and then I'm gonna get into my fly position after I get my four points of contact, feet, my butt, my head, and my upper back all in that position. Now when I open up, I'm gonna keep my elbows in that slight bend. It's about a 10 degree bend. Open up to where I have a full stretch. Now I have the ability to drop these dumbbells even further, but as I start to drop down really low, I'm gonna feel stress in my shoulders. I wanna keep it in the chest. So I wanna go all the way down to where I feel a good stretch in the chest. Now even though my body will allow me to go deeper, I have to deviate the form to get that low. So what I wanna do is I wanna open up slow and controlled till you feel a nice good stretch in the chest. I keep my elbows in that fixed position, close the dumbbells together. One of the most common mistakes that we see when someone's doing a chest fly is as they come together, they roll the shoulders forward. This is not what we want. What we wanna do is we wanna make sure the shoulders stay retracted back, the elbows in that fixed position. The elbows, as I open up, remember, are underneath the wrist. They're not flared out here like this. They're not flared way up. They're right underneath my wrist. And then when I come together, I wanna close the dumbbells together while I'm also maintaining my shoulders peeled back and also maintaining that 10 degree bend in the elbow. And the dumbbells, my wrist, should be lined up with my nipple line. So as I open up, dumbbells are lined up with my nipple line. As I close, they're lined up with my nipple line and I'm constantly keeping that 10 degree bend in the elbow. This will help keep that tension in the chest the entire time. You do not wanna just let the dumbbells drop and relax and put the stress on the joints. You wanna keep tension in the muscles as you slowly contract. It should take about three to four seconds on the way down, slight pause and then contract takes one second back up. So three to four seconds on the way down, contract and close as you come up. On the way down is when we're breathing in. And then when we come to the very bottom, I'm bracing with my abs and core and I breathe out as I close the dumbbells. So a, a common mistake when doing the dumbbell chest fly is as people bring the dumbbells together, they wanna squeeze the chest. And when they go to squeeze the chest at the top, they actually roll the shoulders forward. Now, when we're doing a dumbbell chest fly and I'm lying back on the bench, where my, my chest is working the most is when the dumbbells are opened up. And as I close the dumbbells, less and less of my chest is having to carry the load and work because of gravity. Because I'm, when I'm laying down, 
all the way on the bench. This right here, when I'm opened all the way up, that's when the most stress on the chest is, is when I'm completely stretched out, gravity's pulling straight down the dumbbells. As I close, less work, less work, less work, less work, almost no work. So to try and put a lot of emphasis, you see guys, sometimes they rotate their wrist this way or rotate their wrist that way. Very little movement and work is happening with my chest at this point. So what I want, I care more about the position of my shoulders here because most people, as they come to the top, they want to squeeze the chest and this, that habit of wanting to squeeze the chest rolls the shoulders forward and now the shoulders start to take over the movement. Listen, if you guys liked that video, it helped you out. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share the video. If you had any questions regarding the video, just leave in the comments below. We'll be coming back periodically and answering your guys' comments. Also, if you guys want more information regarding on how to build a chest, we actually have a free guide that we created for you. Just click the link below.